The climate model consensus does favor wetter than average conditions, uh, especially starting from December and continuing on through April of next year. That is the wet season outlook for 2024-2025 per NOAA and the National Weather Service. But the rainfall distribution could be impacted by La Nina, which in forecasts is favored to emerge in the tropical Pacific. The strength of the La Nina is the determining factor. NOAA explaining a stronger La Nina would mean more trade, day, trade wind days than normal, concentrating rainfall in our windward areas. But a weaker La Nina would mean more low pressure, bringing more Kona lows and more leeward rainfall. The probabilities uh, coming out from the, the climate models favor a weak La Nina event. And so the effect is that uh, with both windward and leeward uh, rainfall uh, enhanced, ex we're expecting the drought conditions to be completely eliminated by the end of the wet season in, in April. Some other impacts we could see, lower probability of giant surf events, higher frequency of flash flood events, and more chances of thunderstorms and lightning.